everybody, it's Mama J. And Spectre. We're here with something a little different this time. We're going to check out some Pokemon cards. That's correct. Um, Pokemon cards that I've had when I was like six, seven years old. Um, I still have it's faded because you know it's old. Yeah, this but is what he used when he was a kid. <laughs> it is the original Pokemon binder. Um, so it's really cool to have that. I also have a few other things that I want to show off. Okay. Uh, so to start, I show off the official Pokemon handbook. It is worn out because I used it so much. And what year is that book from? Was, oh, okay, God. this one was republished. The first publication was 95. You have the republished version of 99. Okay. So, What's that book from? 1999. 1999. And it is just filled with all the original 150 one really nice one. colorful pictures in there. Uh, gives you information about each one, uh, like what moves they can learn, what level they evolve at. So this was very useful playing. Back then, but you, what you guys have to remember, back when Spectre had this book, cell phones were not on everybody's hip, okay? Or in everybody's pocket. Cell phones really weren't in the pocket. Right? Yeah, I mean, people didn't have cell phones like they do now. So you would literally have to go to a home computer or laptop, something like that. Or you'd have to have a book like this to help you find all that information. Yeah, and most of this information is not even valid anymore with the new move sets and everything. Uh, dual typing was in, introduced, so these all single types. So it's good from um, Pokemon Red, Blue, and Pokemon Yellow video games. So really cool. Like I said, every Pokemon's in here. Then it gives you like some just frequently asked questions of different Pokemon. That's cool. So, super cool. That's cool. What else you got there? Uh, going to Gen 3, um, I have a Pokemon Ruby Limited Edition coin. Uh, this was a reservation item only if you pre-ordered um, Pokemon Ruby. Well, we have the Sapphire one somewhere, too. I just don't remember. It's in a storage container somewhere. Uh, we have things packed away, and unfortunately... Um, I think the Sapphire one I remember seeing in one of my boxes and I didn't toss it out I just left it in my box, but yeah, so. Um, so that's really cool to have That's really cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show off some of your older cards mm -hmm. And then we did purchase this box right here a little box. Yes, it's Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield Rebel Clash So this is from the newest generation gen 8. I think we're on now. Oh my god. Um, so, a lot of new Pokemon that are definitely probably not in here. And how many packages are in there? I believe five. Okay, so we're going to open that up. We're not going to open them all today. We're only going to open a few because we're going to show off some of the retro cards that he has. So, yeah. let's see what you got. So, this deck here is just some of my favorite cards that I have. So, I have a Double Energy. This was a pretty rare card to have. It's like one of the best ones that you can get. Uh, one thing also I'm going to do is I'm going to show Mama J a card and see if she can pronounce the name. He wants me to see if I can say these names. Um, Inti? Wow, that was pretty close. Inte. Inte, okay. Uh, this is a holographic Inte. It's in bad shape because when I was about eight or nine years old, I actually found this at a summer camp hidden in a bush. <laughs> wow. Uh, go to this one first. Squirtle, which oh, is my favorite Squirtle. Pokemon. Uh, let me move in really close so you guys can see the art a little bit. This one's too easy for you to say. Okay. It's War Turtle. What was it? War Turtle. Oh, War Turtle. I couldn't finish the whole word. Uh, it's the evolved form of Squirtle. Oh, that's cool. Uh oh, there's another one. This one is Rayquaza. Ray Rayquaza? Rayquaza? That's pretty close. Rayquaza? Uh, people say Rayquaza or Rayquaza. It's technically pronounced Rayquaza, but Rayquaza is what they said in the English version of the show. That's pretty cool. So here's uh, our first EX card, which is Groudon. 
EX. He is uh, another legendary like like Rayquaza. And so, and each one of these Pokemon, um, they all have their own moves, right? Yes. I don't know anything about Pokemon. Yeah, so they have their own moves in the, the games, but then they also have their own moves for the cards. And you use your move attack to take their HP down to zero, just like you would in the game. Uh, here's a everyone's favorite, Pikachu. And it's funny, because I remember when Spectre was little, I took him to the movies a couple times to see different Pokemon movies. All I remember is at the end of every movie, he's like, Mom, you can wake up now so we can go home. Pretty much. <laughs> Here's Latias. Got a... That's a cool card. Rainbow Energy. This was also a pretty hard one to find when they were first coming out. Uh, this one is not one of the first ones. That's a cool card. Okay, so this is actually a really cool card. And I'm going to say... Venusaur? Venusaur? Close. It's Venusaur. Venusaur. Okay. It's a really awesome looking card. That one is also holographic. That's yeah. the final evolved form of Bulbasaur. Oh, okay. It's a pretty cool card. And to go with Latias, we have Latios. And these were play on names of Latina and Latino. That's what a lot of Pokemon's names are, is to play off words. Here we have another holographic Kyogre. This is the Water Legendary. That also goes with the Groudon and Rayquaza. Now that's a cool one. Uh, let's see if you can pronounce that one. It's a pretty cool one. Uh, this one is Horsey. Horsey. Right on the head. <laughs> yeah, it's Horsey. <laughs> yeah, nice and easy. But it's Whore and C, so it's Horsey. That's a pretty cool card, though. Looks like he's spitting ink or something yep. out of his mouth. It's so. a seahorse, like, squid thing. Oh, okay. Here's my all-time favorite card. And it is my holographic blast choice. Um, Squirtle was my favorite. So that's really cool to have. Here we have Zapdos. Which is a legendary electric bird Pokemon. Uh, and Articuno, which is the ice legendary bird Pokemon. I had a Moltres. He might be in here, but I didn't see him. Okay. These are just energy cards and duplicates. All right, so you're going to show a few of them out of here. These were the ones where he was putting sets together, um, right? Yes. And then at some point we moved on to something else. So I only got one of these, but it's a, a Charmander, but it's Blaine's Charmander. I do believe I have a Charmeleon in the back. He's a newer card, so that's always back there. Um, try to find. Oh, here, here's your evolved form of your horsey. Oh, okay. And this one's owned by Misty, and it's a Seedra, which is also holographic. That's a cool card. Uh, we got Kingler, which was a crab Pokemon. Um, which is actually kind of funny because I never noticed, but it says Crab Hammer is one of his moves. I don't think Crab Hammer was in Gen 1 Pokemon. I think that was added pretty late. Hmm. Uh, I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't in the games at the beginning. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then we got some starfish here. Let's see if you can pronounce either one of them. All right, this one is Star Star U Star U. Yep. Okay, and this is a pretty cool card. All right. Let's see if you can pronounce its evolved form. All right, so uh, this one is. Star me? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> star you, star me. That's is, what now, is there another one called Star Us? Oh, okay. Nope, I think it stops there. And then going down a little bit further, we got two more 
three more pages of water, then we'll save the rest for later. So I have three different forms of this one. Okay. Now this one's based off like frogs. Okay. So this is Poliwag. So we got that version, which is pretty cool. That's just the generic one. We have the Misty's Poliwag. And then we have a different version of Misty's Poliwag. Now, was Misty a character? Yes, yeah, she was the uh, second gym leader in the Kanto region, which is Gen 1. And she specialized in water Pokemon. Okay. So these cards kind of went with the TV show or the movies, like with the um, characters? Kind of that and the, the games. Okay. Because uh, in the TV show, she never had a Poliwag. I don't even know if in the game she had a Poliwag. It's been years since I played it. But it's okay. just a water Pokemon and she's a water trainer. So here's the evolved form Poliwhirl. It's also owned by Misty. Now they, these are really cute. So this one, let's do this one first. This one's Seal. And then Misty Seal. And then we have the Evolve form, which I'm gonna see if Mama J can pronounce that one. Oh, that's a really cool card. Well, this might be my favorite new Pokemon. Misty's Dogong? Dogong? Dugong. Dugong. This might be my favorite new Pokemon. She did like uh, Shift Tree. Yeah, I like Shift Tree. I mean, Shift Tree. Grab these ones out. That's cute, too. So we got Shoulder and Misty's Shoulder. And then this was a controversial card. Because of um, things people were saying about it. But we have Coyster. And then Misty's Coyster. And that's the evolved form of Shelter. Alright. What else we got? Uh, I got a lot of these. So here we have Psyduck, which is a Pokemon that always constantly has a migraine. <laughs> Lord, that must be my spirit animal. And of course, Misty is Psyduck. Wait, this is my spirit animal? Yeah, pretty much. I need one of these cards. Well, I got four of them. Okay, well, this is my spirit animal. And then we have Psyduck's evolved form, which is Golduck. Then we got, oh, three different ones. We have Goldeen. Then we have Misty's Goldeen. And a different version of Misty's Goldeen. Those are cute. That's what everyone says. Like, oh, Goldeen's so cute. Oh God, what's his power? Well, then you. Then it evolves in the Seeking, which is a big ugly fish. Oh well. <laughs> Let's see if you can pronounce this one. Hey, right, this one is Tinta Cool. Am I right? Yep. Look at there. That's pretty cool. 
And now it's evolved form. Uh-oh. Tenta Cruel? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> nice and funny. easy. Those are pretty cool. All right, I think we just got one page left. Yep, and then that will... That will be it for the water. And then we're going to save the rest for a future video because we have a lot coming. So here we have Lapras. That's a really fun Pokemon. And then you have the extinct Pokemon. I think I have a different version of him. Looks almost like a snail. Yeah, it's um based off a of real life fossil. I can't remember the fossil's name. We have Almanite. Um, and in the game, that's how you acquire Almanite, is you find the the fossil that it's from. Oh, okay. And then uh, you use a, basically the machine from Jurassic Park, mm -hmm. and you bring him back to life. Oh, okay. Because we never learned our lesson on that. <laughs> of course not. So that's going to be it for water. The next one we have is electric. All and right. And that's going to be pretty short. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the new cards we grabbed there. So here we have the new deck. Oh, it slides out. That's cool. And then it opens up. So there is uh, four packs and then this pack here, which is extras. Okay, so which one are we going to open first? Uh, we should probably do this one first. Okay. So we'll save these ones for a future video. So first we got a little... like poster and some building tips for your deck. I don't think I've ever really played Pokemon cards. I just kind of collected them. Oh, it was Yu-Gi-Oh that you played. Yeah, yeah. it was Yu-Gi-Oh that I played mainly. Um, but I just kind of collected these because Pokemon. Right, so this is for the... Oh, that's the code card. Oh yeah, for the online game. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, grab your code. All right. All right. So. All right. So we're gonna take turns showing these off. Hopefully, I'll be able to say them. So far, I've been doing really good. So okay. Um, well, that was Gen One when they were easy to say. This one is oh Grimace Snarl. Grimace Snarl. Grimace. Oh, yep. That's pretty cool. That so, is one I do not have in the game yet. Energy it's Press. Part oh, of a oh. uh, DLC that I don't own. Oh. Got another one. Two of the same? Yep. I was about to say. M Morgrim. False Surrender. Morgrim. Yep. It's like a little goblin Pokemon. Yep, another Morgrim. So they gave me two of each. Um, Limpendimp? Limpendimp? Impendimp. 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 Stampede. That's pretty cool. Same one. Alright, so why don't we pick up, go again. Same one? Same one. <laughs> okay, we got a trainer card. Got Sonia. <laughs> Alright, so this one is a trainer card too. Same one. No, that's Professor's Research. Okay, so this is Professor's Research. But that, that is uh, Professor Magnolia on the front. That's cool. And we got Evolution Incense. Now, will we get holographic cards in these ones too? Yes, okay. the bottom one is a holographic. Oh, okay. And this is tur Turbish? Trubbish. Trubbish? It's Trubbish? literally a bag of trash. Really? Yeah. There's even a vault form called Garboder. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that is so cool. What'd you get? Oh, that's really cool. I got Butterfree. That's really cool. This is actually a Gen 1 Pokemon. Is it? Yeah, that's, that's a cool. lot of health for Butterfree, though. All right, and then I got, oh, I got Butterfree, too. All right. I think this part of the deck was maybe set, I'm guessing. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, that's so cool. 
Oh, wow. It's Metapod, the pre-evolution of Butterfree, but it's okay. like a crocheted, um, like, Metapod picture. That's really cool. That's cool. Yeah. Want to bet this is Metapod? Probably. Yep. And uh, to cl complete the evolutionary tree, we have two Caterpies. That's what she just threw <laughs> I just there. threw that one over there. Um, this one is Hop. He's another trainer. Uh, another Sonia card. Uh, another Professor Research card. I don't have got that one. Oh, there's more. Um, Tur Turfield Stadium, a trainer card. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we have Applin. Um, this one's actually kind of cool because like you feed it a special apple and it turns into something else. Oh wow! And it actually turns into an apple pie dragon. And lore, really? Yeah, Lore is um. Kids would eat it. Like we eat the dragon. It's also like a weird, like, blood spot there. Is it supposed to be there? I don't think so, because it's just over the word get. <laughs> oh, that's weird. It's probably ink splotch. Go ahead. And then here's our holographic. Oh, it's a flapple, which is the other evolution of Applin. Okay. Because you can give it one apple or the other, and it turns into the other one. Okay. So these are pretty cool. Um. Now, I know that you do play the new Pokemon game, so you do know some of these. Yeah, some of yeah. them are like Grimmsnarl, Morgrim, and Limpidim. Limpidim. I have not caught those yet. Okay. Oh, um, so you're still trying to catch them. Yeah. Because you got to catch them all. Yeah, other than that, besides the new game, every other Pokemon I've caught in the games. Mm. All right, so if you guys liked this, please leave a comment letting us know. We have um, the rest of this binder of Pokemon cards. Plus we have some stacks of Pokemon, Dragon Ball, Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, Harry Potter. All kinds of trading cards back from when he was younger that um, he gathered up. So we are going to show you guys those. If you're interested, let us know. We want to make sure that, uh, you know, if you guys want to check out the older retro cards... Yeah, no, so like the Pokemon videos, we're going to give you a little retro and a little new. Yeah. So uh, once these are all opened, we'll grab something else and open it up from Pokemon. Yep. So, all right, guys, make sure you leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think of this, what you think of the retro cards and the new cards. Also, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified, and please, please Leave a comment. And thank you for joining us, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.